are stood in danger. She's in Bravas. Yeah. Titan would step with fire in his eyes. He'd wade into the sea and smash the afraid. He's Ari is not afraid. Ari is never afraid. He's not afraid. You tell him. Gorgeous. Oh, I like seeing Arya. This place kind of reminds me a lot of Assassin's Creed. Black and white door. The house of black and white. This is where you'll find the man you seek. Yeah, finally, finally. Cross the narrow sea. I have nowhere else to go. You have everywhere else to go. <laughs> but wait. Uh oh. Oh dear. She travelled all that way, and they slammed the door in the face. No. It's a test. It's definitely a test. It's got to be a test. Cersei. I'm afraid. Arya and Hellas. My marriage proposal has been accepted. But the marriage? Well, you've still mourned the death of my beloved Aunt Lysa. Okay. <laughs> the day Littlefinger mourns oh. the death of anybody is the day that Cersei joins a convent. Never gonna happen. She's by Diana's her. She's sick. And they explain the reason why her hair's black, finally. Bunch of nights with him. Bunch with bunch. Bunch of six, twenty. Ten, I think. Too many. Don't you dare hurt Brianne, Littlefinger. We'll slap you. Yes. You were accused of killing him. I tried to save him. But you were accused? By men who didn't see what happened. And what did happen? Yeah. A shadow with the face of Stannis Baratheon. A shadow? I believe, yeah. It's a face. Thousands wouldn't. This woman swore to protect her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Not on a good day, is he? No, not Bob! <laughs> he threw yes, a rock! <laughs> he threw a rock! Really? <laughs> you want to? Thank God Brianna is there. Save the day. I want your protection. Do you think she's safe with Littlefinger? Hell no. Nobody's safe with him. Um, but he does raise a good point though. Exactly what would she do with, with the with them? She can't take them anywhere really. They'd just be kind of on the run in the woods. This sunflower is oh. like yellow. Roses are very nice, definitely roses. And music, I adore music, but no flutes. I hate flutes. We can have a harp if you like, but no flutes. Then there's the food. Food is the most important thing, don't you agree? We're going to need pigeon pies. That's what they eat in the capital, don't they? Don't they? Oh dear. She's a bit special, isn't she? People eat pigeon pie in the capital. Poor Bron. Oh, look who it is. It's the weasel who, instead of fighting like a man, hid like a little girl. And led us to victory against the wildlings. Pussy! Pussy! A wildling girl. You tell him, Sam. And Lord Jack. <laughs> I found him there after the battle was over in a puddle of his own making. <laughs> Very true. Yeah, John Snow, John Snow, <laughs> John Snow, yay! Snow, 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 snow. <laughs> Take that, Alice Thorn. And your little wuss female friend. Although that's not going to go down well, is it really? He's going to teach her! Yay! Well, Arya's in a very good place. Oh no! Daenerys, show mercy! No, don't chop his head off! Come on! Don't! Oh no! Oh no! Daenerys! Oh, they don't like her now. It's Dragon! Dragon! No! He's returned! Oh, is he going to 
gonna be cross at her though, because of the other two. It's gonna bite her, isn't he? It's gonna bite her hand off. <laughs> oh no. It's flying away. No. Daenerys. So that's the end of the second episode of season five, Game of Thrones. It was good. I liked it. Um, I loved seeing Arya again. She's my favorite, one of my favorite characters. Love it. Daenerys has fallen from grace, big style. Uh, so for those out there who are not a fan of hers, because I know a lot of people don't like her for some reason, um, they'll be happy about that, I guess. She got some problems to contend with. Sansa's confusing me quite a lot. I just don't understand. Is she playing Littlefinger or does she genuinely, genuinely like him? I can't tell whether she's being clever or and it's all an act to suck up to him and have him on side or whether she actually does like him. It's coming across a little bit weird and creepy. I mean, he is her uncle. It's a bit sick. <laughs> Um, mind you, this show <laughs> has crossed the lines with brother and sister, so an uncle and a niece uh, is not that much of a, of a stretch for this show. I can't really tell what, what is going on there, whether she's playing him or she just genuinely likes the guy. I don't know. It's a bit weird. But finally, uh, I wasn't seeing things. Her, she has dyed her hair black. Um, so yeah, I wasn't seeing things last week. <laughs> Jon Snow is now the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, which is awesome. Although, slightly dangerous territory, um, Alistair Thorne definitely is not happy about that decision. And his little bitch for a friend. I mean, God. Janice could not be more of a little wussy little girl if he tried. I mean, honestly. You just want to slap him. He's such a tit. I'm kind of thinking it's all looking a little bit like, ooh, too good to be true. Jon Snow, finally the Lord Commander. He's in a position of power. He's respected. He's light. He's smiling. He's happy. It all kind of seems like he's going to get stabbed in the back. Big style. Betrayed. Uh, it might... <sighs> It's great that he is the Lord Commander, but on the other hand, it's not so great for him. This could be the undoing of him. Um, I'm slightly worried about it. Please don't kill Jon Snow, please. I thought it was a really good episode of Raw. I can't wait to see more of Arya and her journey into learning to have two faces. It's amazing. She's in a great, she's in a great place. I mean, it could not be better. I know Brienne wants to have Arya and Sansa with her, but to be honest, it just, where would they go? I mean, where would she take them? Arya's in the best place. Sansa maybe not so much, but if Brienne's going to kind of follow and look out for her, then maybe she'll be okay. We'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Um, but yeah, I don't trust Littlefinger. Don't trust him as far as I can throw him. He is a conniving weasel. But it's kind of, it's good in a way that they're, they're not hitting us with the shocks right away it's kind of building up it's like building up tension like you know something's gonna happen because we've heard they're going completely off of the books now and characters that haven't died in the books yet are gonna die in this season people that we love it this is like gonna really rip apart the fans we've heard this so we know it's gonna happen we just don't know when so it's kind of like a jack-in-the-box at the minute you're just waiting and waiting tense for the big bang so yeah <laughs> uh but it's been it's good i like all this story um i think it's just been it's developing nice at a slow pace i think so can't wait to see more hope you enjoyed this one uh, and i'll see you guys again next week take very good care bye